you. Hey everybody, so good to see everyone today. My name is Meg Watson. If we haven't met, I am the head of product for Backstage at Spotify. Um, so today we'll be talking a little bit about where Spotify has been investing and how we're thinking about the next steps for Backstage. So if you are newer to the area, you may not already know that Spotify actually created Backstage. Um, and that was because we had internal problems that could not be solved from an external tool that was gonna work for us. So we thought about, you know, what do we ultimately need to navigate the complexity and the scale of a business like Spotify's? And we came up with Backstage. And we open sourced that project in 2020. And as Helen mentioned earlier today, it's now three years since open sourcing the project. And what we've seen is that the adopters who are using Backstage today and those who are considering it for the future are really looking to Spotify for expertise and guidance to help them on their journey. So when we think about how does Spotify add to this incredibly vibrant and awesome ecosystem, we really think about making sure that we help people stay on the path, find their way to value a little bit easier and a little bit more delightfully. And it is not just working at Spotify. So as Helen mentioned earlier today, we've seen phenomenal adopter growth to the Backstage project. Um, I got to say, if I were to create a chart that would be good to speak to, it'd probably be this one. Like, this is a perfect up and to the right type of moment. We see incredible growth up to just over 2,300 adopters today. And what's really remarkable about that is that is 4x growth in 2023 alone. So what we're seeing is this momentum is here. There's tons of new people, new organizations starting to use Backstage for the first time. And that is very exciting. So. As for Spotify, when we think about the areas that we are really investing in and fundamentally uh, putting some energy behind, there are essentially three core pillars. The first of which is to enhance the core platform. So how do we help bring the community forward through investments that Spotify is well positioned to make? So you'll hear today about things like declarative integration from our maintainers at 11 o'clock. Um, so please stay tuned for that one. Um, but things like that. And we also talked a little bit about some of the accessibility improvements that Spotify has delivered to the open source project. Additionally, we're really focused on removing barriers to adoption. So it has come through loud and clear that while Backstage is incredibly powerful and customizable, it can also be really difficult to get started with. There is no one-size-fits-all type of model, and that's okay, but we do want to make it a little bit easier to get started and to stay started with Backstage. And finally, exploring new products and services. So something that we announced in uh, late 2022 is that we launched our plugin bundle. Um, and that is something that we've had so much incredible feedback around already. Um, and this really is about how do we continue on what we've started to learn there and figure out the next steps for moving forward with our products and services. So quick start is our answer to the adoption barrier challenge that we know so well. So today you have to take just over 70 steps to get Backstage up and running, and that is totally okay, but we believe that we can simplify that quite a bit to just under five steps moving forward. Um, Quick Start is going to be a Spotify solution that we'll share out, and we are really hopeful about getting this out in early 2024. Um, something I'm particularly excited about with Quick Start is that it applies a little bit more of a UI or a kind of personalization layer that will help people understand the steps to take in order to get value sooner. In addition to making it a lot easier to get started and to get value from Backstage, Quick Start will also drastically reduce the cost of maintaining Backstage. So it's really a win-win, both when you think about how you get started, but also how you stay started with Backstage as a resource for your organization. I also briefly alluded to our Spotify plugins for Backstage, which was announced and shared with everybody in December of 2022. The plugin bundle has five solutions within it, ranging from things like role-based access control to insights that will help you understand how your organization is using Backstage today, all the way up to something like Skill Exchange, which was built at Spotify with a whole lot of love and helps you find new opportunities for your team to collaborate or to grow themselves via new professional development opportunities. The plugin bundle has been incredibly successful, and we've been thrilled with the response we've gotten to date. Um, something I am also really impressed by is our team's ability to just get customer feedback and act on it effectively and quickly. So we have really committed to a lot of an advancement and evolution since launching in December of last year. So if it's been a minute since you've checked out the plugin bundle, I would highly encourage revisiting it and seeing whether or not those solutions might be helpful to you. 
So as we've alluded to, there's been a ton of exciting momentum, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. There are over 150 solutions in the open source project right now that are plugins that you can add to your backstage instance. And with that, what we've heard loud and clear from adopters is that it can be difficult to find what you need, it can be difficult to understand if something is secure, and also if it is well maintained. And that makes total sense. A lot of these things are built and kind of shipped out there and may not often be revisited or may not even meet the security needs of your organization. So I am super thrilled to say that today we are launching the Spotify Marketplace for Backstage, which is our answer to this challenge. We want to make it a lot easier to find all of your solutions in one place to add to your Backstage instance, particularly as your needs evolve. Inside the Spotify Marketplace for Backstage, you'll find solutions from Spotify, so that plugin bundle I just referenced, and also solutions from trusted partners. So I want to give a big thank you to VMware, Red Hat, Sneak, PagerDuty, CircleCI, and Weaveworks, who are our launch partner for today's launch. In addition to what you're seeing here from Spotify and from our partners, we are also going to be expanding this over time to welcome many, many more contributors to list their solutions within our marketplace. So we would invite you today to visit us at backstage.spotify.com to see the marketplace firsthand. Um, I must also tip the hat to the team that flipped the switch this morning to go ahead and launch it for us. So thank you everybody working really, really diligently behind the scenes. Um, not easy to pull off. Thank you very much. And if you are a contributor and you are interested in getting your solution into our marketplace, we would also invite you to register with us. So you can follow this QR code here to get your solution uh, added. And there's also a ton of information at our booth outside about the marketplace, about our strategy generally, and also about our registration process. So if you have any questions, we would invite you to come visit us. I'll be hanging out around uh, here for the rest of the day as well, so I'm happy to chat. Um, but with that, I think we'll turn it over to a couple questions, if the group has any. Thank you. Exciting stuff. Thank you, Mag. Questions? All right. Thank you. You mentioned the quick start mode that is uh, going to be introduced. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Um, the slide showed a reduction of from 70 to 3, yes. which is quite significant. So Very curious significant. To, to hear a little bit more about that. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to steal anybody's thunder, and there's a 2 p.m. that is going to go a little bit deeper into what is ahead for Quick Start. What I'll say is Quick Start basically applies a UI layer that helps you get started and provides a little bit more guidance than what is present today. So it helps you not only get through the steps faster, but also condenses the steps quite a bit. Um, so the team at 2 p.m. will talk about it in much more detail. Um, and again, happy to answer additional questions after that, too. Good. Thank you for your question. All right, one more for Mag. Any more questions? All right, I guess we're good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mike.